Hello everyone, I am Amit, a computer science educator and trainer from India and in our remote learning series today, we are going to see how we can record our screen using Flipgrid and share with our students in the form of video tutorial and uh, ask them to respond on it in the flipped classroom approach. So let's start with it. I have already uh, signed in sign in into my Flipgrid account and in this account I have my grid ready called eContent development and this I have entered my grid in one grid I can have multiple topics I have a topic called screen recording here I'll enter into this by clicking it so here I can initiate a topic I can uh, record my screen by hitting this plus button which says, says that start a discussion that uh, we can add a video and share the topic with our students. So I'll hit this. So now it is asking me now for the permission to my microphone and camera. I'll allow it. Allow it. And here I am. So my uh, webcam is appearing, but I don't want to record my web camera. I want to record the screen. So I'll just uh, hit this uh, screen recording button here. And uh, as soon as I hit this button here. I'll be taken to another prompt called start screen recording. I'll have three options here to record my entire screen or only the particular application window or the Chrome tabs. I'll uh, take the entire screen option and uh, double click it. Now on the count of three, three to one, my screen is being recorded. So I'll uh, start presenting my presentation. It is being recorded. So I'll be presenting a topic on Backlit. So uh, Backlit is a free platform which allows us to save, organize, present and share content. And it can be explained in three steps like uh, bookmark anything, organize and curate, collaborate and share. And say I want to stop here, stop sharing my screen. My screen is being recorded. Now so I'll here start I'll see that uh, Whatever I have recorded is being uh, displayed here. So I'll be presenting a topic on Backlit. I'll just so check that whatever one I want to share with my student is there or not. Allows us to save, organize, present. Have I missed anything? Share content. It can be explained in three steps like the bookmark anything, organize and create, collaborate and share. And so once it is done, stop there. I'll just pause it. And now the thing is that uh, in this uh, timeline, I have few slides which are not required. They were the initial few seconds when I have not reached uh, to my actual presentation. I have reached it from here where I, uh, I have uh, had the um, presentation uh, uh, full screen button. So I'll just double click this timeline. Now it will allow me to crop those slides which are not required by me. So I can crop those slides which are not required up to here. So from here my presentation actually starts. I can crop it from either side from the right hand side also from the left hand side also. So and uh, when I get my timeline correctly whatever I want to share with my students I just hit the confirm button. Then I'm seeing this. Okay, it's populating. It's done. So I'll confirm. So now it will again prompt me to check that uh, whether it's okay. Yes, it's okay. So I'll just uh, pause it and finalize it. So I'll hit the next button. It will ask me to uh, click a selfie. I'll click a selfie with a fancy sticker. So the mini fancy sticker which uh, I can add to my video response. So it depends that how creative you are and uh, how much you want to use them. I often use them. So I'll click the selfie. So it's done. I'll click the next button. So my video is being submitted. Now it has been uploaded. Once it's done, it lasts for a display name, okay, Mehta, and uh, title, maybe I'll backlit, 
through video tutorial, something like that, whatever you want. I'll hit the submit button and within few seconds it's done. So I complete this process. As soon as I complete this process, uh, my video will appear in my topic. If I want to share this uh, video with my student, I'll hit the share button from where I can get that link which can be uh, shared with my students uh, for this particular topic. So I'll just copy this link and I'll open it in some other window, other uh, browser window. Let us see what a student can see when we hit this link. He can see the video directly and it's my recorded lecture. And it's done. So, uh, this is how I can share. So, it's done. I'll just close it and get back to thing. Now, if I, if I want them to respond to this particular video, I'll uh, share this flip code like this and my student will see this kind of uh, interface with them after hitting this flip code and here they will see this video, they can play it and uh, when they play it, there is an option to make a reply in the form of video response also so they can do it. So it's all easy. So this is all about recording your screen and sharing with your students and the flipped classroom approach. Thank you.